Hi, this is Dr. Campbell, and today I wanted to talk to you about how can Bernie Sanders end institutionalized racism. Now, in a recent article, political candidate Bernie Sanders has provided a glimpse of how his efforts will fail at ending institutionalized racism. He may be the only presidential candidate who express extreme displeasure with racism in America. Bernie Sanders' proposed efforts at ending institutionalized racism will need to focus on the educational system in America that continues to effectively produce systemic destruction of blacks. According to the article, Sanders vows to end institutional racism after Black Lives Matter pushes him off stage, he stated that no president will fight harder to end institutional racism and reform criminal justice. Too many lives have been destroyed by war on drugs, by incarceration. We need to educate people. We need to put people to work. End of quote. You see, Bernie Sanders believed that institutionalized racism will end with the knowledge of institutionalized racism and the employment of those who are victimized. And so how can Bernie Sanders use knowledge to end institutionalized racism? Institutionalized racism was introduced in the 1960s by black power activists Stokey Carmichael and Charles V. Hamilton. According to these black power activists, institutional racism is any system of inequality based on race, which can occur in government entities, businesses and corporations, and universities. You see, knowledge is information. Information alone will not improve race relations in America. Improving race relations require improving relationships. The best way to improve relationships is through a modified self-organization system based on quantum physics. The self-organization system has three primary components, which include self-identity, information, and relationships. Self-identity is accomplished by developing a shared vision between races, which also goes along with the information. And so how can Bernie Sanders use employment to end institutionalized racism? According to a Chinese proverb, give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he will eat for the rest of his life. Ending institutionalized racism will require teaching victims to survive for their lifetime. We begin this process with schools. However, schools are major contributors to institutionalized racism. Many school codes are unfamiliar and opposed to culturally diverse student home codes. Blacks have difficulty with school instructional concepts and ideals that are absent in their community, culture, or economic environment that ignore or misrepresent their present condition. School instructional procedures include cultural values, orientations, and perceptions that differ from those of black students. Inappropriate curriculum and instruction are concerns that make reversing underachievement for culturally diverse students difficult. Most elementary and secondary school curriculum are designed for the success of white middle class children. Public schools continue to have culturally based philosophies and curricula that focus on white European and Judeo-Christian values. Instructional materials and instructors who work well for European students do not necessarily work well 
for culturally diverse students and to believe that they do is to assume black, Latino, American Indian, Asian, Arab, and African immigrants and European origin students have identical personal, social, cultural, historical, and family traits. School instructional procedures include cultural values, perceptions, and orientations that differ from those of black students. Blacks acquire cultural values, attitudes, and learning styles that conflict with values, attitudes, and learning styles needed for success in public schools. In school, students become the passive informational recipient while in their culture they are involved in a learning experience that is give and take and in one situation they may be the learner and in another situation they are the teacher. Distrust between schools and blacks results from the hostile treatment of blacks and discrimination in schools. Employment discrimination is the primary source of black student opposition to schooling. Blacks believe schools ineffectively prepare black children with the same skills that enable white middle class persons to attain good jobs and wages. Blacks discourage school success as a cultural goal and respond by developing survival strategies that contribute to school failure as well as conflict within the school. Bernie Sanders can eliminate institutionalized racism by utilizing a self-organizing, self-reference system and eliminating classroom racism. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read this entire article as well as other information on my website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566. 3267. Have a great day and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out positive racial relationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes and session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit positive racial relationships.com. Leading classrooms together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out. That ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.